Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I received this internal resistance tester for batteries. It is from FNIRC and the model is HRM10. So let's check it out to see how it works. Okay, here's the manual. It is um, Chinese, English, Russian. And this looks to be Portuguese. Okay. And here is the device. looks nice it's a big display connector and here is the charging port oh let's see this is the charging cable usb to type c and this must be the test cables Here's the connector that goes on the back of the device and the test leads. Here we have some of the parameters of this device. It can check batteries with a voltage up to 100 volts and resistances from 0 to 200 ohms, supposedly with an accuracy of 0.5%. And this uses the method of AC 1 kHz for testing the resistance. As we said before, it is rechargeable, type C interface, and the battery is 1000 milliamp hours. So, why? Would you want to check the internal resistance of a battery? Well, uh, one of the reasons is that as the battery ages, the internal resistance goes higher. So an old battery will have more internal resistance and therefore the maximum capacity to deliver current will go down. An old battery will give you less amps than a new one. This is a natural process as the internal chemistry degrades. Now, on the other hand, uh, different types of batteries have different internal resistances. Uh, for example, a uh, carbon battery has very high internal resistance. Therefore, this type of battery will give you very low currents more resistance less current another type of battery like the alkaline battery has lower internal resistance therefore you can get more current from an alkaline battery than the current that you get from a carbon battery and so on depending on the type of chemistry is the internal resistance that you have and this device lets you measure that resistance from your battery okay let's make a measurement let me turn it on okay now as we said before there is an automatic range for voltage and resistance but you can also select manually the ranges that you want to measure i will measure this lithium ion battery that voltage is 4.2 volts and the internal resistance typical of these batteries is around 8, 80 100 milli ohms so let's select first the voltage we press here and then we move here to select the voltage range 1 volt 10 volts 10 volts is okay for 
uh, for this type of battery. Now the resistance, press here and select this is 20 milliohms. Let's put 200 milliohms. Okay, I guess this is set. Let's see if we can measure the internal resistance. Put the battery here and the test leads. Of course, you need to be careful with the polarity. And there it is. 4.09 volts it is almost fully charged and the internal resistance is around 80 oh, let me press firmly around 85 milli ohms which is good for this type of battery this measurement indicates that my battery is still in good shape okay now i want to check another battery this high capacity cell it is also lithium but it is lithium iron phosphate it is a different chemistry this battery can give you up to 200 amps of current is very powerful so let's check it for this, I changed the range to 20 milliohms because this battery has very low internal resistance. So let's put the test leads. Let me check the polarity. This is positive, okay. Negative and positive. And let's see here and here. Voltage is 3.2 volts, which is correct. This type of chemistry will give you 3.25 volts when fully charged. And I can see the resistance measurements. It is not measuring. Oh, that's strange. Let me put it again. Oh, there it is. It is around 10 milliohms. Yeah, 10 milliohms for this battery. Remember that this order was around 80, 82 milliohms this is almost 10 times smaller than the lithium iron cell therefore you can get much more current from this type of battery of course it is also larger in size so as you can see we were able to measure the two internal resistances from the cells of course, you have several different functions with this device. If you press here, you will go to the menu. There is a sorting mode. We will talk about this. You can record the history of measurements. You can calibrate the voltage, also calibrate the resistance, the volume of the audible signal. You can set it, also the, the time and the brightness of the screen. You can set the language, auto power off, and return to factory default. So let me show you, for example, the sorting mode. This is interesting because you can set a particular uh, pair of values of voltage, a minimum and a maximum voltage. So for example, if you are checking this type of batteries, lithium ion, you can set your minimum working voltage to be, for example, three volts, and the maximum voltage will be 4.25 volts, because more than that voltage will damage this type of cell. And you can also set the range of internal resistance for your cell to be considered good. Therefore, 
when you test your battery, the device will tell you if your battery fits with your preset values. This is good when you are measuring, for example, 100 batteries. You just uh, put your battery to test and this will tell you this battery pass, the other not pass, and so on. It is for batch checking. Okay, there you have it. Internal resistance measurement apparatus. FNIRC model HRM10. In the description of the video, there is a link where you can check and buy this device. Hope you liked this video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.